Welcome to the video on the Card Reset application. The purpose of the application is to enable our customers to perform an online authorization on the cards that we provide. This means that even if you do not have access to an authorization host, you can still reset our cards offline counters. The application also reactivates the offline PIN presentation feature on cards where the PIN was blocked. The Card Reset application is intended to be used with the cards provided by Merchant Test Cards only. It should never be used with live production bank cards because that could lead to the card being blocked or to the issuing bank identifying fraud attempts. The start of this video is the user's guide. The video also contains an installation guide which starts a bit later. All that you need in order to use the application and reset the cards is a computer and a USB chip card reader. This is usually referred to as a PCSC card reader. In this video, we use the STI-011 smart card reader, which you can easily buy on the internet. This is an expensive reader. You should be able to find readers for 15 to 20 euro on eBay or Amazon. In our example, we use a Windows PC but the Python source code is also provided, which means that it can also be run on a different operating system, such as Linux. The first step in order to use a card reset application is to insert one of the cards into the reader. Then simply execute the application and let the magic happen. The application runs a transaction on the card and performs an online authorization. When it's finished, it's indicating that the transaction was successful which means that the counters and the pin are reset. Then simply press enter to close the application and remove the card from the reader and that's it. You can then do the same thing with another card, inserting it into the card reader and then running the application and the same thing happens on this different card. We can go for an example with a third card. And now this card is reset as well. Now, if we look for one of the cards that will generate an error on a payment terminal, the card where the application is blocked, for instance, and insert it into the card reader. If I run the application with this card, the application can see that the card is blocked and does nothing with it. Or if I insert the card where the pin is blocked, and run the application. It knows that it should not reset this card. Now that we have seen how to use the application, let's have a look at how to install it on the computer. In this video, I'm going to do a demonstration with a brand new Windows machine. The steps for installation are, first of all, to download or copy the zip file onto the machine, and then to unzip the folder, and finally to create a shortcut on the Windows desktop. So step one, simply follow the download link from our website or from the installation and user's guide. The file will generally go to your download folder. Step 2. Unzip the folder. I'm simply going to extract it. I 
and there it is, it creates a folder. And in the folder is the application executable file. It also contains the Python source scripts for people using non-Windows operating systems. And step 3. Create a shortcut. Simply right-click on the application to copy it. And paste it as a shortcut on the desktop. And that's it for Windows users. If you use a different operating system, the first two steps are the same. Then find the Python script in the SRC subfolder, ensure that the version of Python 2.7 is installed on the machine, install the following Python packages, wheel, PyScard, and PyCrypto, and finally execute the script that's named cardreset.py. Now, in order to run transactions with that computer, we need to connect the smart card reader. So that's Windows finding and installing the driver for the card reader. This can actually take a few minutes. I'm now going to check that it's properly installed by opening a file explorer, going to this PC, clicking on the computer tab at the top and going into systems properties. In there, I'll select the device manager on the left and expand the smart card readers list. So depending on the reader that you have, the name may be different, but you need to be sure that there is an entry in this list. And finally, we can run the application to make sure that it works. So I'll start by inserting a card into the card reader. And on the PC, I'll double click on the shortcut I created. The first time you run it on Windows 10, it might inform you of a security risk. Just click on More, and then Run Anyway. That opens a command prompt, which runs an online transaction on the card, and lets me know of the status at the end. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that everything worked out for you.